The barn kit came with two windows, one for this back corner and one for that back corner, which we omitted. And I'm gonna put one window here and one window there and a doorway here and a doorway there. So we need to frame up right here, a rough opening for a window and a window. Good morning, modern steaders. Boy, it feels like it's gonna rain out this morning, but I just checked the weather. It says there's no rain in the forecast today. Last time they said that, we got about a half inch of rain that day. So let's see what happens today. Morning, pigs. You're looking mighty fine and big this morning. You gotta make some nice bacon. Yeah. You girls are frisky this morning, aren't you? Yeah. You ready? Yesterday we started customizing the barn kit and we started siding the front side of the left eave overhang. Today, I'm hoping to get the windows roughed out and get the siding up on the long eave side of the left side. Oh, it's gonna look so nice once we get that all done. The part that we're working on now is customizing it for our milking room and our barn stalls. I'm not gonna know what to do when we have our own feed room and milking room. It's gonna be nice. Thank you. I wonder how CWC decides where she's gonna stay for the night or where she's gonna go first thing in the morning. Old CWC, huh? How do you decide? You trying to keep me on my toes? Only if I knew how your mind worked there, CWC. Out, Moose. There you go, CWC. The meat birds spent their first night out on pasture last night. I got all 38 birds in here. Once they get bigger, I will separate them into two tractors. I was gonna make some nice chicken dinners this winter. Oh, chicken pot pies, chicken noodle soup, chicken and gravy. Oh, it's endless what we'll be making with those chickens. It's making me hungry already, guys. Oh, sweet. It looks like the nail fairies came last night and dropped us off a new box of nails. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. Huh. Hey, whatever works. Thank you, nail fairies. We needed some more nails. Uh, let's get that set up. There we go. Get everything set up and ready to go to work. All right. 
and get quite the lumber pile going on in here. The barn kit came with two windows, one for this back corner and one for that back corner, which we omitted. And I'm gonna put one window here and one window there and a doorway here and a doorway there. So we need to frame up right here, a rough opening for a window and a window. I also need to see, do we have doo doo? No, so we gotta drop this two by four lower over here we'll go 40 and a half there and then also mark that there we'll keep our other two by fours the same so i wonder Get a couple of measurements taken. 115. All right. I need to square up Oof. both ends. A little hefty, nice, wet, rough saw on two by four. 115. You know what we can do? Top there, so let's go down two inches. Let's do this. Big thing for us. Make sure we have 24 and a half, which we do. This side's gotta come up. To here. I like that. Might just come down a smidge. Should have 204, 24, 204. Yep, we do. We have all of the two buys that we need. All right, so let's go 57 and a half. Bracing up. That'll hold those into position. Right. That window opening is square. 
48 and a half. I like it. get a more accurate measurement here pull the tape measure nice and tight now 114 and a half do the same thing over here one fourteen and a half all right I like it Heavy and wet, yes, sir. Uh. One fourteen and a half. Port to put in the center for now. That'll work. That square right there. Figure out layout for our door now. Let's see how wide this is. 114 and a half. So half of that is 57 and a quarter. 57 and a quarter. Right here. All right, so we're gonna make our rough opening 41 and a half. So that'd be 20 and three quarters. Yes, per side. 20 three quarters so 41 and a half we're gonna make our door 21 oh, we're gonna make our door 41 and we're gonna allow ourselves a half inch gap on all the way around the door okay get that and that from here to there we're gonna be 36, 38. Eight. A quick mark at 36 and 38 there. And one. So from our height, we have 64 and three quarters. Sixty-four and three quarters. So we'll cut two of them at sixty-four and three quarters. Let's cut two of these at sixty-four and three quarters.
that. Get a good width on it. Let's see what it looks like. That'll be nice and centered. Thinking out loud, if I move the whole door over so it's setting on that 4x4, four four, it'll throw off the symmetric look of the builder from the outside, but it would give us more room on one side of the stall. We would gain a foot almost. Yeah, we'd gain 13 and a half inches over here. So instead of being, we'd be almost four feet on one side. I think I'm gonna do that. It's gonna throw off the look of the barn. I get that from the outside, but it'll give an animal or whatever more room to one side of the stall versus the other. And I think that will make a big difference. So let's move this post that way. Because yes, this is gonna look nice from the outside, the way we had it. But I think for the animals, this would be a lot better. If that makes sense. Right on the money, I like it. So our rough opening was 41 and a half. Let's do this. Forty-one and a half. Put that there. Forty-one and a half. Put that here. See how it looks. I'm gonna like that in the long run. That's gonna look a lot nicer. It's gonna work out a lot better too. So let's cut two of them at 49, uh, yeah, 48 and three quarters. Once we get all the framing done, this should go in really quick. All right, let's see. We cut them all at six feet, because we got 12 footers. It'd be perfect. And then, let's see. To our first one, we have 38 inches. A little bit of math, so 38 divided by 10.75 equals three and a half so we can cut four of them for now so that'll, that's perfect all right i'll start off right here with number one cut it three and a half at six feet boom You can 
set them right here on this pressure treated board. Let's get this board up. Let's get this into our window. We'll mark it where we want to cut it. Nice. I like that. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Saw. Perfect. Forty and let's go forty and three eighths. Forty and three eighths. Four of them at 40 and 3 eighths. And then we're gonna need four of them anywhere from nine and a half to seven. Awesome. Now, if you're saying, yeah, Al, but you got a gap up here. Don't worry about that gap. Our shadow, our fascia board, and then our shadow board's gonna cover that. And if we did go up high enough, we would have had to get 14 footers, and then we would have had a bunch of waste. So doing it this way is the most cost effective, and all that's gonna be hidden. Just wanna make sure we keep going level, and we are. The next piece, we don't even gotta notch it. It'll be good to go. Starting to feel more like a bar. Woohoo! Mark this one. <clears throat> so yeah, most of that's gonna get cut out, and whatever's left over will get covered up with trim work afterwards.
perfect. All right, let's see how we did. Oh yeah, most of that knot's cut right out. Perfect. I like that. Last nail, need one more roll. I can't believe we actually had just enough left to finish up that board. Then this one board I didn't like because it had the end grain splitting. That's gonna get all cut off anyways. Perfect. Ah, that looks so nice. What a difference. Once we have our fascia board up and our shadow board up, it's gonna look even better. And then we'll have our batten strips to put up. Oh, there you are, pigs. You're hiding on me. You're lying in the cool sand. I don't blame you. The grass you mowed already grew. The new stuff looks. The new stuff looks good. Yeah, it looks really nice. It looks like I want to lay in it, but it's not quite big enough. What do you? Th what do you think so far of the barn? Love it. Love it. How do you like the siding over here? Looks good. Can you tell that the door's not completely centered? What? What? I changed my mind. About what? Because it's off to the left a little bit further. Why? So I figure the wall for the milking room will be right here. And if I keep the door on that, cool it is nice in here. If I keep the door on that side, it gives whatever we have in here for an animal more room over here. Where if we had it centered, there'd just be a little bit of room on each side of the door to hide. Come on! Get up there! Wait, no. Why are you gonna go that way? Come through the window. Come through the window. Come on! Come on! You just gotta get... Oh, he's chased up. Come hey! On. Come, Come on. up here! Come up here! You can jump. I know you can jump. Come here. Hero. It's like I don't do stuff on demand. Do you approve of the barn window there, Figaro? Huh? We gotta make you a window perch? On the other side. Let's do it right now. 
Dirty. Man glittered cat. You got man glitter all over you, mister. Man glitter all over you. Look, I just found a prize. <gasps> no. Is it ready? Uh, it looks right to me. What kind Little ones. And then we got one that's big enough. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to use my scissors. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Might as well just twist it. Oh, off. it works great. Oh, wow. So good. So okay. Good. Let's get this on our squash. Get a close up. Oh, look at that. Those are the piggy. Boy, the barn is really starting to take shape now. Love the look that it's getting. Oh, I can't wait till we get it all trimmed out, the doors built, and the siding all finished up. It's gonna look so nice. We've been having a lot of modern steaders asking us what we're doing with the old goat barn. I think in just over two weeks or so, we have two more animals coming to the homestead. And we have one other big surprise, probably starting to happen around the same time that the new animals come so it's gonna be very exciting here we got a lot of stuff going on thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys you're a true blessing to us in our homestead what are a few of your things you'd like to see happen on the homestead when I asked that question the other day some people were like I can't believe you don't know what you want to do with the barn or with your homestead we have our own ideas but I love involving you guys in everything that we're doing and I just want to know your feedback, some of the things you'd like to see going on. So leave it in the comments down below, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.